up guys, it's Yvette and for today I'm going to be doing a back to school slash dorm life tips and tricks video and I know some of you guys already started your school last month but mine just started last week and for some that just started their school year recently or hasn't started it yet or you've just been thinking about moving to a dorm well don't worry I got you girl or boy so I've been staying in the dorm since I was in first year college and but now I stay in a condominium and it has really helped me a lot because I live really far from Manila and I can say that living in a dorm has helped me to become more independent and a better version of myself so anyway in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of staying in a dorm I'll also share about the things appliances or furniture that you might be needing for the first week or once you move into your new dorm and I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks in dorm living um, budgeting and staying organized so if you guys want to know more about those things just keep on watching so first we'll talk about the pros first one is you won't have problems with traffic I know Manila traffic is the worst and you won't have to worry about it because some dorms are just a block away or just a street away from the university so you won't have any problem with that because you're all you have to do is walk from your dorm to your school and then you're there and you also won't have any problems getting late well in my case you know I always late regardless of where I am and I have to work at it so also living in a dorm or living away from home has also taught me how to commute alone because before I really don't know how to commute on my own I don't know how to get to places I only know the route to our house or school but now I learn how to commute on my own I know how to take the bus I know how to take the train I know how to take the cab or whatever you know what I mean I get to uh, travel or explore on my own another thing is you get to know how to cook before, I only know how to make instant noodles or fry hot dogs and such. Well, in my case, now that I'm staying in a condominium, I get to cook my own food. But now I get to do really complex stuff. Well, not really complex stuff. I get to make my own food and I get to experiment. And before, I was really scared going near the kitchen because I'm really worried that I might burn down the house but now I love cooking and I love making my own meals you know it's something that I'm proud that I have achieved if ever you guys want to know some simple recipes I might do some for you just let me know next thing is you get to know how to budget your own money so before when I was in high school I get my allowance every day so I don't have problems about having no money the second day because I'll have money again but now that I'm in college I have my allowance in one go so I have to budget it for the whole month and yeah it kind of helped me a lot because I get to buy my own stuff for my own money and I get to know the value of money and how it shouldn't be wasted on unnecessary things and I get to know my priorities like I have to pay my bills first so now next is kind of the hardest part but you get to know how to do house chores now when I say house chores I meant house chores you're gonna be cleaning the whole room you're gonna be cleaning your study area and you're gonna be cleaning the bathroom yes I know it's kind of devastating to know that you're gonna clean the bathroom but don't worry it's not that hard actually when I first cleaned our bathroom it's it was really fulfilling because I I don't usually do house chores especially clean our bathroom but it's okay because it's really fulfilling to see your place clean I know you can hire someone to clean your room or your bathroom or whatever but it's really fulfilling 
to clean your own place. You get to save your money. So all in all, the pros of staying in the dorm is you get to do everything on your own. You get to pay your own bills, you get to clean the room yourself, you get to budget your money, know how to cook, and basically become more independent. So yeah, it's really a pro because it helps you eventually in life when you get older. And yeah, now let's move on to the cons. The only thing that I think is a con is you won't get to eat your mom's home-cooked meals anymore and you're gonna miss that but I suggest that you just study your mom's recipe or for example you like your mom's adobo you ask for your mom's recipe and in that way you get to learn how to cook your own adobo so yeah and then another con is I think you'll miss your house well I don't know why I thought about it but that's a con for me that's what I feel I mean sometimes when I'm in Manila, I miss my house, I miss my dog, I miss my bed, I miss Margo, I miss my sister, I miss my mom, and that's really sad. But I think you'll get used to it along the way, because during my first year, I cried during the first night because I was really homesick. But eventually, I got used to it, and yeah, I enjoy living in a dorm right now. So now that you know the pros and cons of dorm living, dorm living. <laughs> And you've probably made up your mind and decided to move in in a dorm. And here are some of the things that you might want to bring with you once you move in. First, for the bathroom needs. You're going to need the basics like your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your shampoo, your conditioner, etc. Your towels and stuff. Don't worry if you might miss something that I say. I'm going to be putting them a checklist for you guys that you, may, that you can print. To help you remember the things that you might need. Some of the things, uh, I don't know what they're called, but I'm just gonna be flashing some photos in here or here. So, yeah, you're gonna be needing a brush for the floor, brush for the toilet, you're gonna be needing some bathroom cleaner. I don't know if that's detergent. No, that's not detergent. And you're also gonna be needing some gloves for your hands. And now moving on to the kitchen. If your dorm doesn't have a kitchen well that's okay you can skip this part but yeah if you stay in the condominium like me I'm gonna suggest that you get a ref because that's where you're gonna store some leftover foods that you might want to eat sometime and then also get a microwave where you will heat the leftover food and I also suggest that you get an electric stove for you to cook your own meals but if your dorm doesn't allow cooking then it's okay. And then get a rice cooker because you know, we Asians love and rice. And yeah, it's a lot cheaper than buying outside. And you also get to cook as much cups of rice that you want. So that's a plus. Then the basics like spoon, fork, knife, plates, chopping board, and some can openers, you know, cheddaras, soup bowls. And for cleaning, you're gonna be need a sponge, dishwashing liquid, and a hand soap. Next I'm gonna be moving Next I'm gonna be moving on to the more general stuff. I suggest that you get a mirror because this was one of my problems when I was in second year. Um, in our room we don't have a mirror. We only have that small face mirror and my roommate and I has to share it and it's really hard because you won't be able to see your outfit of the day and you wouldn't know if you have something on your face. And we'll only see it once we're in the elevator because our elevator has a mirror and it's really sad. Then you'll also be needing a rug, an air freshener, a bug spray, also buy a mop. And now for the dorm's tips and tricks. Tip number one is that you always keep your things locked and secured in your cabinet. We don't want anything missing. We want our things secured always. Number two. Take out the trash every day and when you're going home over the weekend, take out the trash. Don't think that, nah, it's okay, it's just a piece of plastic or whatever. No, take out the trash. Number three is you keep your bills in one place. You can put it in a box where you can easily see your bills or you can just stick them in your refrigerator with some ref magnets. 
Number four, unplug your appliances when it's not in use or when you and your roommate are in school. When it's plugged, it still uses electricity and power. And we don't want that once we see our bills, right? Last, this is actually a trick, not a tip. But what I do is I get the mug with water in it and, and put it inside the microwave and then set the timer for two minutes. And then after two minutes, you have a hot water. It's really simple and fast. And that's also the same thing that I do when I cook noodles. And for leftover food, you're gonna want to set the timer for 30 seconds only. And yeah, keep that in mind. Two minutes for water, 30 seconds for leftover food. Now next is for saving up. I know saving money is really hard, but we have to learn in a really early age how to save up because eventually we're gonna be working soon and we don't want to spend our money in one go. We have to... what's that? So here's what I do in terms of budgeting. First is you get 20% of your money and save it. For example, your allowance every month is 7000 you get 1400 every month and then you save it. But in my case, I take the 10% for myself and the other half for our church. Next is to separate your money in envelopes. I have six envelopes when it comes to budgeting. That's for my tights, my fare, my internet, my water and electricity bill, my rent, and my groceries. It's getting dark! Also, don't spend your money and then save what's left. What I do is I save money first, like you know, I get the 20% and then I spend the 80%. So in that case, I get to save money every month and I get to stay on track and be able to still pay my bills. So anyway, another tip to save up money is you bring a water bottle with you. I know it's kind of weird to be carrying around a water bottle, but it really helps a lot when you're saving money because you won't be needing to buy water every time. I know some schools have water fountains and you know just refill your water bottles there and you're good to go. Also, if you can cook, I suggest that you cook instead that you buy food outside because I think most meals cost 50 to 100 pesos and I suggest that you give up some pleasures First, if you really 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 want to save up and if you're grocery shopping I suggest that you make a list on your phone or write it out on a paper so that when you go to the grocery store you won't be ending up buying things that you don't need and you'll be saving some time too last tip that I'm gonna be giving to you guys is that you prioritize know what you need and what you want sometimes we tend to mix our wants and needs and we don't really get to prioritize things. I mean, ask yourself, do I really, really need this stuff? Or I just want it? Is it really necessary or it's just, you know, cute? Ask yourself, do you need it or do you want it? Because if you want it, then you can have it some other time. Or maybe you'll find a cheaper version of that. But if you really need it, then go get it. Just make sure that you really need it and that's what you need. Yeah, I think I already said too much. So that's it. I hope I help you guys in some ways and I wish you all the best school year ahead and good luck. Also, if you want more back to school slash dorm life tips and tricks videos, just let me guys know and I'll make a video for you guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! So it's getting darker because it's already 4.42 but I'm gonna rush into this video. Now for 